Hey everybody, this is uh, just a quick video on how to uh, remove the plastic um, little covers for the rear view mirror um, for a 2022 Dodge Ram. This might work for a couple years before that for the, for the same model, but this is the only one I think that has this guy right here. So the first, the first one that you're gonna wanna take off is this longer one, and this little guy slides up and down, so you wanna slide it uh, you want to slide it a little bit all the way down. See how it slides like this? You want to slide it down and then you want to get, um, a lot of people I heard like to use flathead screwdrivers, but if you, if you just invest in a, a cheap little uh, nylon tool right here, right here on the curve, right where there's this line, if you put this in there, and just kind of go wiggle to the side a little bit like this, you'll see it, it just pop it loose and then work the other side and just hold it down with your finger while you work the other side. Really easy thing to take off. You'll see on the back there's nothing really on it, just a couple bu rubber bumpers and uh, those little clips on the side. And those aren't even, I mean, you know, uh, fairly easy to take off. So here's that piece. And then this piece right here, is not as bad as it looks. It goes on like this. First off, I'll show you the inside. There's only one thing, there's only one clip on this. Just one clip. There's, on the on the mirror itself, there's, uh, there's a hole and that goes into the hole. But then this little clip right here, you just reach your finger through underneath and you just go like this. And you can, you can, just just a tiny just a tiny little bit and you just push on it but that's what it looks like just this so i'll show you let me move the mirror out of the way i'm doing all this with one hand so uh this goes like this so this would go like this and you'll see You'll see that, now see that clip I was telling you about right there? That will just pop into right there, but you wanna put in, you wanna put in this side first, the left hand side first and then the right hand side. But you'll see what I'm talking about. But you can bring your finger through, see there's a little spot right here for your, for your finger. And you can bring your finger through, or you can get like a little hook tool or something, but you'll see right here. And underneath you'll be able to just kinda of wiggle it loose. So that's all you're working with right here. Now you know, there's not much to it. It looks really complicated, but it's not. Now another really cool thing, so the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I'm putting a, a, a dash cam in. And um, I bought this thing called Dongar Technologies. It's if you have a uh, self-dimming mirror, so you don't have to hardwire the dash cam. Um, you use the self-dimming portion and uh, you can use this little gadget right here. It's made in America and uh, it just plugs into your light and then you plug your old light into here and then you got the USB for the end and it goes off and on with ignition. So it's perfect for um, dash cam, uh, especially if you, if you found a dash cam that's got uh, battery powered so when you shut off your ignition it will still, um, it is still uh, record. So. But um, yeah, let me know if anybody out there has got any questions. And this is it, this is what it looks like. It, it looks like a real complicated setup, but the most important thing is uh, this little guy right here. That's what that thing clips into. You stick your finger in there. You got any questions, let me know. Uh, and uh, thanks for looking. And I, I suggest um, invest in one of these nylon tools because this will be your best friend for um, you know getting in between things and not scratching stuff. Um, you can get them online, probably Amazon, or any glass shop in your area that does auto glass. Cool. Well, thanks for looking.